With Panorama 5.5, you can add images to a database by simply dragging them from the finder and dropping them on a form in your database. To illustrate this, I'll use the Image Drops database, which is included as an example file when you download Panorama 5.5. Later, I'll show you how easy it is to add this feature to any Panorama database. To add images to the database, all I have to do is drag them from the finder onto the form. I'll start by dragging an entire folder of images onto the, fo onto the database. It takes a few seconds to process, and there we go, we've got 90 images added to the database. And as you can see, I can scroll down. <clears throat> now this database has, an has some additional fields for captions and notes, which I can edit. For example, I'll go ahead and make the caption of this tuck box, because this is a picture of the tuck box restaurant in Carmel. Go check it out if you ever are in the area. In your databases, you can have as many additional fields as you want. I can also drag and drop individual files in addition to entire folders. So, for example, let's see, I'm going to go here to San Luis Obispo and Avila Beach. And I figured out in advance that the pictures I want were 2, 53, and 56. So we'll go ahead and drag those on. and we've got three images added to the database which we can see down here later if I decide to add the whole folder Panorama is smart enough to skip the images that have already been added so let's go ahead and add the entire Avila Beach and see we've got 54 images added out of 57 and three were skipped because they were already on the database. Now it's really easy to add this feature to any Panorama database. All you need is one procedure with one line of code. Let me go, go ahead and open that. It's got to be called drop procedure, drop procedure and it has one line. Just drop images from Finder and specify the name of the field that's going to contain uh, the image names and locations. The rest is all taken care of for you. By the way, to use the dropping uh, image feature, you do need to purchase the optional Panorama Enhanced Image Pack, which is available for about $15.